So I, one thing I want to get into before we cr go and create anything that, that could cost us money is I want to set up a, a budget alert. And this might seem really like trivial right now, but it could save you a lot of money down the road. Um, so we're going to set up a budget just for, for $20 to make sure that if we forget things, because sometimes as you're, you're playing around with things and, and, and creating new resources like virtual machines and databases, sometimes you might forget and you might not log in for like two weeks. And then all of a sudden you get a $30 bill, you know, you don't want that. Um, and I'll show you, show you something that just happened to me because I forgot about a few things. So let's, let's go back to my subscriptions. So we're using this as Azure course, but let's, let's go to, let's select all my courses or all my subscriptions. And if you look, I have these, I have this, this Tuts subscription that I forgot about. And I got charged $85 in a couple of weeks because I was just, I was testing things out and then I just totally forgot about it. And then I noticed that and I didn't have budget alerts set up. So I do now, but so, so let's set up budget alerts just, just so this doesn't happen to you. And, and I highly encourage you to do this and it's very simple. So let's do that now. So you can do that by going to the cost management service. So again, you can come over to the left go here and search cost management here or you can use the search bar I pretty much use the search bar every time so let's let's go there cost management and billing and then we can go over budgets just click budgets here so I'll go over billing in later videos as an in-depth but I just wanted to do this one quick just so you can set up this alert so you don't get any surpri uh, surprise um, bills. But for the most part, if you stay under that 750 hours, you're going to have it free. In the fir first month, you get $200 free as well. Let's set this up. And it's, gonna, it's, it's looking for my, my existing budget, so you're going to see I have one already. Which I'm 333% over it. <laughs> Um, cause I've set my budget to 25. So let's just click add. So you can just enter a name like, um, max spend max budget or max spending. I can't remember what I called my other one. I'm not sure if they collide, but let's just do monthly creation day is gonna be today. And the expiration date might as well just go to 2030. Just keep that thing. Keep that bad boy open forever. And let's set a budget threshold of, let's just say $20. And you're not gonna have any data here because you just created your account properly. So we've got that. So let's click next. And now, now we can set an alert condition. So our budget is $20. So when do we wanna get alerted to when we're approaching $20? Let's say once it gets to 90% of $20, so $18. So once our, if we, if we have a bill that's $18, then it's going to send us an email and tell, tell us that, you know, our budget's coming up, you know, you could set this to $5 if you wanted to, but so we can enter in our, our email and this is a bug in. ignore this. This is a bug in Azure. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think, I think you just, if you just click create, it works. Um, Let's just try that out. But you enter your email. You can have multiple emails as well. Let's just get rid of that. But that should be fine. Click create. It's validating. All right, now, now we've got a, a budget set up. So I highly encourage you to do this when you get started. It's not, it's not mandatory. You're not gonna, it's not gonna prevent you from doing anything else, but I'd suggest you, you, you do this part.